So <laughs> welcome, Doctor Ashwin. Uh, I am very proud to have you with me. Uh, you have scored rank sixteen in the NEET SS two thousand twenty three surgical group. So first of all, congratulations yes, for your huge. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, secondly, yes. please tell uh, how are you feeling right now? Actually, I feel a bit elated. Like, I, I this is uh, new for me. I haven't tasted such a big success previously. If I tell my rank to someone, they are asking sixteen. Then they ask once again sixteen. <laughs> then the third time they believe, oh, sixteen. Very good. Then they start speaking. So uh, this is my first big success. Uh, so I feel a bit elated. Like. Uh, I'm sorry. I, as I can say, I out of words like. Sir, right. <laughs> so describe your journey. Like when did you start preparation for NEET SS? And obviously, yes, we have talked. But uh, for the viewers, how yes, did sir. you go through? When did you start? How did you go through? And yeah. how did you reach to a point where you achieved the rank? Uh, sure, sir. I'll tell, sir. Actually, mine. I uh, I not say. To be honest, I not say. This is my first attempt. I attempted last year, but I couldn't give my hundred percent. Like I, uh, due to my family and personal workplace reasons, so I had to stop my preparation a while. I didn't get the flow. I got five hundred and sixteen rank last year. So I start. I thought I'll give a small break and uh, prepare again this year. Since last year I went for Raja Bhagirath's uh, offline class, I thought I'll not uh, take any app. I'll prepare on my own. And uh, I started my preparation uh, four months when there was four months. I thought I should not be long preparation, four strict months. So I planned accordingly. And <laughs> to be frank, I saw an offer <laughs> from uh, actually uh, like a subscription from Sushita and this. And the word that caught me was you put on a word like, uh, like no nonsense questions. <laughs> and I have seen so many apps, uh, some I don't know to name them. It will be like, is this a question? This is too bad. This is neat PG level. And since I thought, okay, someone has my ideology. He is, he is facing this nonsense question. And he is promising that no nonsense. So I subscribed your test series first, uh, Sushra and this. And then came your decathlon. And during my neat PG level, I considered grand test as my strategy. This is my uh, cornerstone strategy for neat PG. What I your do audio is I slightly uh, not was... clear. It is echoing. Can you keep your mic near? Yeah. Yes. yes is it better now, sir? Uh, no, it is like still audio is not clear. Oh, just a minute, sir. Or, uh, can I hold like this? Sir? Is it yeah, 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 sir. Whatever you're comfortable. Just the audio was oh, not sir. coming. Uh, sir. Yeah, please go ahead. Oh, sir. Uh, what I'll do is my main strategy is I usually write a, during my need PG itself, I'll write a grand test every Sunday. And what I'll do is I'll uh, split the 150 questions into 30 questions each day. And I'll review the 30 questions in my book so that I'll be revisiting the same, the high yield topics in my book again and again. So if I write the second grand test, third grand test, say if there's a question on cold cyst, I'll be coming to cold cyst every week in my book to the same place. So it will be reinforced. And what I found in decathlon, your test is peculiar, you will be selecting the topics particularly. Say if in biliary system, you give this table in test series one, you'll give the next table in test series two, next table in test series three. So I I was like covering the high yield points again and again, and that too, you are pointing out the high yields, like as I said, no nonsense questions. It was like so much high yield, I could come and every week, it was a practice like, uh, so I could honestly say that the high yield areas, you have given us 10, you promised us 10 grand tests, but you gave 12. So I visited the high yield areas, like I say, correct you, I gave 13. 12. Yeah, that was uh, 13, including that uh, the grand mock one. I think I scored rank 8 in that one. Oh. And uh, yes. <laughs> So I was visiting, uh, say, a particular area at least five times. Uh, if you, if you, So that is the one that gave me the edge. That is what I feel. And one more thing I felt was last time I read uh, Bailey and Sabastan as much as possible. And I kept on reading. reading. So one point I spoke to a friend and he told uh, that will not impart much. So I thought uh, he gave me an idea that you turn it into questions and I also found it useful. What I did was I had a memory of the book one side. What 
uh, what was in your decathlon test i kept it as a memory like say if you had a module which has 100 questions i'll bookmark it like the 30 questions which are important or which i made wrong i'll revisit that again so i had a memory of 30 questions so i had a memory of pages separately i had a memory of questions separately so this helped me and uh, it was like i was determined that i should take uh, i as you said you will be writing your blogs which is peculiar in this series like no one speaks personally you will come to a person space okay don't uh, this uh, don't get demoralized this is a long way even when the exams are postponed you had wrote a blog everything there was a blog and i was following it, how to cope up with stress how to cope up with these things and uh, uh, sorry sir uh, so i'll be revisiting the questions also so i had uh, like uh, it helped me to revisit the subject again if i was reading bailey and sapson again and again for five times it wouldn't have been possible say so i'll read the book once then i'll revisit the questions once then i'll be okay now i can feel okay i'll revisit this again this again so it helped me to uh, break the monotony right so yes, basically what you uh, i'm very glad that i could uh, like in my own way of content and everything i could help you to achieve your rank so i am feeling very yes, proud sir. very genuinely as a parent that from my platform whoever students has achieved a rank mm -hmm. no matter what rank be it first or 100 whatever rank they have achieved and it helps mm -hmm. you to achieve your desired seat so that is a proud moment for me that you achieved yes. that yeah, you will, I know I, some words will stick on with us. I mean, because you used to say that based on our circumstances, if you get the specialty of your rank, you are number one. Yes. If you want Euro in some city, if you are getting it, you are number one according to yourself. I, and I took it like, I felt that I want to go nearby my city. And I have a daughter, three-year-old. Oh. And I was working also in a medical college. So I had some time restraints. So what I'll do is I'll wake up early in the morning, sometimes four or sometimes five, finish the session before they wake up or before eight. So when I go to what, I'll take that as a break, eight to 10. Uh, during rounds, I'll take as a break. Then after 10, I'll sit and finish the session, then come back home. And uh, your daily test will be there. 20 questions will be there. I'll be solving that 20 questions, weekday wisdom. So after that, I'll be, that helped me like, okay, I'm at this thing, this spot I could. One thing I uh, thought was uh, last time it was 516. So I had to do something unique this time. You removed the pie uh, from uh, in front of that. <laughs> yes. <sir. laughs> so to be unique, I thought uh, I had to be first, I had to, wish, I had to be confident first. I cannot doubt myself whether I can take it or not. But this is a huge task. Uh, I cannot take it uh, over confident. So I have to be confident and I have to visualize that I have to. I am taking that and I have to behave like that. So what I thought, I, what I did was uh, solving your questions. I thought I should develop a reflex during my exam. Like if I see a question, I should know the answer in two or th three seconds or less than five seconds. So that should save time in at least hundred questions. And the list 50, I kept, okay, yeah, I know the rest end of questions. They'll ask some, uh, the psychopathic <laughs> questions, 20. So I thought, okay, you keep the 20 yourself. Uh, I don't want the 20. Okay, rest 30, I'll think there and battle. So I was in this mindset while I went for the exam. And all the questions I solved, all the grant tests, your weekday wisdom, they helped me make the, get me that uh, reflex for the 100 questions. Yes. Like if I see a question, I can say that, okay, this is a cold-local cyst type. You will be mostly asking what is 1B or what is 3, what is cold-local C. I could uh, get, even if I see, I could uh, predict what was coming. That, thanks to the practice uh, yes. which uh, your platform gave me. I am very um, uh, yes. humbled by your kind words. Yes, but at the end, um, whatever I have done or we have done as a platform, you have achieved by your hard work. And uh, for yes, the aspirants who will be watching this, as you said that you have family, you worked in a medical college, and yet you studied yes, and you got a rank. So yes, give sir. your tips about how to manage that way. Because some people, some students would be who are just uh, doing their MS and they'll be preparing. So they don't have to worry about all these things. But those who yes, are sir. sitting like you and even I had said, and I shared my experience, but you share your experience about how did you manage 
work, family, and yet you studied and yet you got a rank. Yeah, sure, sir. Uh, the first thing is uh, we shouldn't keep a strict plan. What I personally kept was I used to keep three plans: plan A, plan B, day A, day type A, day type B, day type C. Day type A is when my colleagues share my work, I'll be having like ten to twelve hours in a day. So I'll have a plan for study like that. Even if it goes day type B, if my chief says it will be reduced to us. So I'll keep a plan for that. Eight hours study means this. Day type C is I get an emergency case. I'll get only six hours in a day. So I'll be planning at the end at the at say sir like Monday like okay I'll be having say two day type A or two day type B three day type C. So I'll have these things what all to chunk in that week beforehand, and I'll meet the week. I'll face it off. I'll uh, based on that. I'll usually get uh, two or three day types A, B, C. So the thing is, uh, nothing should uh, demotivate you, or we should be. Uh, 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 how to say, sir? Like uh, we should be ready to face it, and yeah. we shouldn't uh, push it too much. Say if I push too much, if I keep too much of portions. Uh, uh, then that will uh, come as a black log and it will create a stress. So I felt it, we should be a bit tactical and we should be, the positive mindset should be there always. I always visualize I'll be getting this rank and uh, I want surgical on co only. I should take it comfortably. I shouldn't wait for anyone to take, okay, he should take the 10 only, I'll get this. So I visualize it and uh, <laughs> it was like, uh, that is a technique. You always, I uh, find it in your blogs, like you will say, how to be confident, how to do this. My principle is, I follow what Arnold Schwarzenegger said. He said, visualize your goals yes. and uh, you should be. So I visualize like if I get a stress, this is the tip. If someone wants to take it some, one point from me, I'll say this. They say if uh, I, uh, I'm i working from morning 8 to 8 and I have two hours lag. So whether I can push it or not, I'll think like, okay, what if I, what if I'm a surgical oncologist now? Uh, if it is a long case, long procedure, I have to push two more hours. Will I leave it or I'll push it? So as a surgical oncologist, I'll push it. So yes. as a person who's about to become a surgical oncologist, I should also push this to us. Yes. So I felt that I'm already there and I behave like that. I'm there <laughs> finally. That's a very inspirational yes. thing what you said and even I have yes. uh, written in the last blog that is of power of manifestation and you actually proved yes. it by thinking yes. and visualizing it and that is also a very yes. good take home message for the aspirants who will be watching it that it is not yes. just about the reading or hard work it is also about the dedication and the positive mindset that if you want something you should be able to achieve it without any fail. Yes sir. Yes. So, uh, other thing what I would like to ask you is that uh, you said regarding what you read, how you read, but if I'm not mistaken, so according to yes, the sir. paper, I feel that daily sabiston forms the base. Uh, yes, one step above will be Schwartz. After that, it will be just your clinical acumen. So, what is your take on yes, this sir. thing? Sir, actually, I didn't uh, review the question still now. I knew I gave the exams, right? I didn't want to take still results came. I never reviewed how much I wrote, what was the question there. So I have a hazy memory only. I'll try to tell like, uh, we can, I could find some onlineers in Bailey. Uh, so I was uh, getting that sure shot. So Abyssin is a very difficult uh, book to master. So I had two tricks in my sleeve to cover it up. One trick was I attended uh, Raja Mahirin's offline class. Uh, what that could, I can, I suggest you can, uh, I don't know whether you have a plan or not, sir. You can start an offline class also. But what, how it will help is, that's what uh, Raja Mahirin says. Uh, in videos, we cannot uh, sit there for a whole day. We have yes. to break it up and sit. But if you go to offline class, six days, you'll be sitting and you'll be covering the whole book of Sabis. They can help you cover the whole book. It's like a readout and they'll mark you the important areas, which will be done in a span of six days. That will give you a very big boost. And that is trick number one. Trick number two is what I did was, I read Bailey, say Monday, if I read Bailey uh, liver, I'll keep on reading Bailey uh, from Monday to Friday, Saturday, some chapters. Then next uh, Monday, what I'll do is, I'll uh, read Bailey in Sabiston 
In the meantime, I'll revise that Bailey, uh, revise the, sorry, sir, revise that, sorry, liver, revise that uh, liver in Bailey. So it's like double damaka. I have revised Bailey with that uh, refreshed memory. I'm reading the same topic in liver. So yeah. uh, that helps me, okay, with the knowledge, I'm up, which a fresh knowledge, I'm approaching liver, which will move a bit faster and which I can compare and contrast. So that is how that is the trick uh, I found to cover the service. Without right. reading Bailey, it will be like uh, we'll be lost in the sea of service. So that so is a very, uh, please go ahead. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. That's all. This is the. So, so I think that is a very I valid uh, point that uh, no matter whatever you read, if you don't revise, it will not help you. Yeah. So sir. you need to keep revising, and that revision is what will help you in the exams. Yes, sir. I revised multiple times. Even when the exam got postponed, you told uh, revise, revise, revise. And uh, last uh, three weeks, you didn't give any grant test. You yes. told, uh, even though some were asking, you told just revise. Yes. So I kept on uh, revising. And the thing is, revision is easy to say, but sitting and <laughs> turning the books against the hardest thing, it's like a punishment. It is the <laughs> like, hardest we thing, have to be... but it is the... Yes, the sweet pain of revising which will yeah, uh, you will get when you get a rank yeah yeah so that sweet pain we get but the thing i shared with you previously like you can revise both revise the revise it in a question format which a book bought so that it will not be that painful yes exactly. <laughs> and then you can come back so, uh, as you also said that you read smartly and that is what even i used to advise and i will advise even now who will be watching that it is not just cramming. It is basically smart reading and smart revision, yes. be it by reading the book, notes, or MCQs. Yes, sir. You can give uh, you can give your opinion I, regarding yes. this. Yes, sir, I'm a bit atypical. I never liked uh, reading from iPads or those things. I'm a book guy. I always buy the books, read it by hand. But uh, your notes, I saw a Bailey in love twentieth edition. I recall it was a bit helpful. Like. At the end of the day, what I felt less, if you go in a, if you approach a thing in a single way, it may tend to slip, it may seem big. So what you can do is you can approach it in multiple ways. Say if you are reading a chapter of liver again, for example, you can read the notes of 20th edition update first. So that will cover multiple areas. Like yes. then when you read it again, you will be re reading that second time or covering, you have to cover it only bits and parts. Yes. So what I feel is you can bite it in chunks. There is uh, no use in uh, I, I I started at the first page, I'll finish at the last page. Yes. So you need and, to be uh, smart and efficient in uh, revision and reading. That is what is a yes, message for the aspirants. Now this is a very uh, personal question because this platform is my baby. So what yes, can you tell regarding whatever content you use? What is the feedback? Like, how did you find it? Or what is a good point? And also, what is the lacuna or the negative point which you felt we can change it or we can become more better so that we can help more students like you? Yes, sir. Uh, lacuna, I think last time also I wrote a feedback. I couldn't find much lacuna. Uh, the thing is, you're giving it in multiple forms. Like, I paid merely like maybe for... I think I don't remember, sir, like 5,000 for this. You gave it in the app. You can, I can access it in the laptop also with the password. And Decathlon series, if I write a grant test, you give it in a PDF. You give it like, what is the weak area, strong area? And I can access it anytime. So actually, I found uh, this was like, okay, who is this guy? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know you personally before, after the, before the result or something. So why is it? doing so much things I, I didn't pay this much for the decathlon test series i would have paid 1200 i guess so he gave me 13 tests and all the 13 tests it was like uh, breakups were there and uh, what is the subject wise thing and uh, yeah the thing i can download is a pdf so many i don't think there's lackness i got more than uh, what was required for a thing it was like well organized. There was like, that is the thing I found. There was like no nonsense question. Every question was like, it uh, like uh, even one question, like uh, one line as you'll be asking some name of the surgeons. Actually, it came like uh, example for uh, lymphedema. What is the MRI contest used? That was a question in one of your tests and it came. 
Yes. So the time that took me to write that question was uh, micro millisecond, I can yeah. say, because I've written that. But if I had not written that, if I had read the Sabiston five times, six times, that wouldn't have caught my eye or I, I would have to recollect in that page. I had to go there. It would have taken 10 seconds. I would have wasted the time in some other question, which I had to think clinical scenario. So this thing gives, a, a, this is a big time saver and uh, 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 I'm sorry, sir. Actually, it's a long day. <laughs> I'm running from a state today. I rejoined duty again. Lot of congratulations. No issues. You so have, uh, whatever you have said, it is useful for the yes, aspirants. Sir. And also, whatever you have said regarding our platform, it is a very huge compliment coming from the, uh, mm -hmm. students like you. And I feel proud mm -hmm. that uh, we could have, be of assistance. Mm -hmm. And you are whatever tips and strategies you said that will be useful to the aspirants if they take it in the positive and they apply it. So yes, at the end, I'll give you the mic and I'll uh, ask you to share your take home message throughout the journey, mm -hmm. result, everything. Like what do you want to say to the aspirants uh, regarding whatever yes, you feel? Yeah, yeah. The first thing is uh, we have to prepare for the exam. That is uh, most important, which most people miss and uh, most people don't get guidance on. Uh, we got a lot of guidance from you. Uh, actually, since I gave last year, I was a bit tensed uh, because I was not uh, fully prepared. So this year, I thought I'll not, uh, I finished my revision uh, like just 24 hours before the exam. Last 24 hours, the day before, like 1 p.m., I closed all the books. But I have finished the revision and closed. For 24 hours, I, uh, I kept my mind free. I know they are going to play some mind games. So I should be fresh for that mind game. They are going to give some close options, something to trick me and something uh, change the pronouns, adjectives. So I was prepared for it. Most people, what they do is even in exam centers, I saw, they delay the exam by one hour. Uh, yeah, they'll be reading. That is a very grave mistake. So even when logging in itself, the I saw most people like, okay, he'll doze off in a few minutes. They're like that. So that is a very big game changer. Whatever we prepare, there we have at the time. And the questions they are going to uh, give are very lengthy and uh, these things. But I found your questions in gratis. You will also give like that. There will be a one-liner, but you'll be giving five, six sentences yes. so that I, I'll get the idea. Okay, uh, this if this is that, I, I got I got trained to that. See, I, I, as I said, sir, I developed the reflex. If this is the question, I should see here, here, there. Okay, this is the, say, if this is a question, answer, definitely there'll be distractor. I know the reflex to check for the distractor also. If there are four options, I know one is the answer. Other two are just dummy. And the fourth option is definitely distracted. So even if I found the first option, my reflex is check for the distractor. And then uh, find out. This we can get only by writing quality questions, not any questions. True. We'll, now, 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 we'll definitely never get there. It should be the one which should enhance you. And that can be done only by... Uh, that's why I, I didn't know you personally, but just by seeing that, I got to know that okay this guy is up to something he has a standard and he's working for it and anyone who has seen your questions has subscribed some trial package they'll come to know i don't have to uh, say so much about it they'll come to know okay this is the standard so that helped me so much so, so that's uh, the thing be cool develop a reflex you'll uh, get there so uh, Yes. Thank you for uh, saying the yeah. nice things about my platform and also the yeah. take home message what we can all the aspirants can take from your journey yeah. is that dedication, positivity, smart reading, uh, multiple yes. revisions and visualization of what you want in life. If you do all of these things, uh, I think even you will agree that no one can deny you your rank and your seat. Yeah, sure, sir. Actually, you just, uh, you crisply combined what everything I said. I'm a bit clumsy, but I could say everything I said, the, you completed the last minute. This is the thing I wanted to say. Yes. Right, sir. Yeah, no one can deny. Now I can uh, choose the, I wanted this scenario. The day when I see the result, I should be the one who is choosing. They should not be the one giving me the college yes. of my choice. And I know it's surgical oncology, but I should be the one choosing. So now you have multiple choices in the colleges also. So I hope you get yes, your sir. dream institute. 
and i as have already sure, written sir. in my blog and by your example also i can tell to the aspirants that in neat neat ss nobody like not just first rank is the first ranker like you if you want your desired seat you get that rank and you are able to get the admission then you are a first rank so that is what you should keep in mind yes, while preparation also yes sir that's the one uh, like i knew like everyone can say something like if this is not there i would have pushed more if my baby was when i st- <laughs> when i read my child will come and stand near me for some time actually i had some bitter thing like i developed some negative reflex of like when i come home from work my child when she comes from school uh, one day i feared and closed the door i was keeping mom that i don't want her to come into the room she will spoil the story i thought where is it leading me i'm doing something good but it's making me fear and uh, get away from my family why should i run from my child that she shouldn't see me and study so i thought i am going to do this this time alone i do this better so that i not have to do this again and uh, that kind of uh, thing was there in me so they made me do this neat phd and uh, it that to it requires determination and uh, you should have that uh, revenge on them by <laughs> studying well and uh, keeping a nice plan and uh, this thing all out otherwise it will be hard sir like uh, the pattern how they change we cannot aim for a moderate rank uh, that is too uncertain i know my friends they prepared like uh is equal to me i'll say honestly but something they were not smart i don't know what lag but they were their ranks are very less so if you are not smart enough or uh, think enough this is this uh, example will pull you down very deeply yes so you have to be so much cautious and you have to be think. i i won't say that i hear people saying that this is too unpredictable and i, I don't say uh, if you give uh, give all the things you'll definitely get it so i think uh, what you yes. said at the end it is like if you give your best and uh, you don't give any excuse to anybody then you can easily yeah. achieve it and also other thing is that like you said uh, there is a saying in gujarati from where i come uh, i'll just yes, translate sir. it that if you want to achieve something achieve for the highest if you yes, cannot sir. reach the highest it is pardonable but by keeping a moderate level and then expecting of a higher result it is unpardonable and that is what yes, also sir. you said that if you want to achieve then aim for the highest and that is also what i say that aim high and achieve even higher and that is what you have yes, achieved sir. and positivity is very important and dedication is important sacrifice yes some what you need to make sometimes but yes whatever you said is the key to achieving success yes sir yes so uh, thank you so much for taking out time and sharing your experiences and oh, yeah, actually uh, it's my gratitude to us it's i'm bound to uh, spend time with you like i know what i gained from this platform what made me a, a keystone point in my preparation that is the thing i got from my app so you don't have to thank me sir i am so, very uh, humbled by your appreciation yes. and i feel very proud i'll again repeat it and i can say it for 100 times that seeing you achieve and uh, you calling me to inform and that moment even i told you on call also and even i felt that i felt yes. proud as a what parent would be feeling that oh yes. my son has got this rank even i feel the same that yes. my student got this and i played some part in that and i congratulate you your family uh, everybody for yes. your success and i wish you all the best for yes. the future and uh, now you're you already so much, going sir. to enter into super speciality so i'll welcome you to the world of super speciality now thank you so much sir i led them with uh, chris and uh, i'll tell my juniors that they should lose hope and even i'll say i'll honestly accept that if this is my second preparation so i'll say don't lose hope. last time they said okay you got 516 don't prepare again this is a decent rank 516 is a good rank to get any good urology good oncology dnb or uh, gastro dnb gastro dnb i think a bit hard but oncology dnb i got in some good institutes also i said no no i won't believe this myth and i don't uh, this doesn't include uh, good so i'll prepare again nothing wrong in that so i'll say don't be afraid like uh, it's like uh, when we drive uh, if we don't want to hit the wall we shouldn't be seeing the wall all the time then we'll not be stare towards the wall you should be seeing uh, there so i will say don't see where uh, you shouldn't go 
okay i may fail don't see there see there where you want to go you'll definitely go so i'll add on to what you said is yes. that even many students are reaching out yes. to me now saying that we have got a moderate rank should we sit again or we should take whatever seat and i agree totally on what you said and i advise the same thing that if you have a passion yes. in life that you want to achieve a particular for example you want to get into a dream branch then don't sacrifice for yes. that give your full efforts yes, and yes. then get it if you are not able to after that then you may think but don't just give up just because you somebody is telling that you got a moderate rank and you need to join so yes sir i'll not take much of your time and uh, we will end yes, it here sir. i'll again congratulate yes, you yes. and all the best thank for the you future so much, sir. and hope to thank be so in much, touch uh, in the future so sure, sir. thank you so much for joining we'll end here thank, thank you so much thank you so much thank you thank so you much. Sir. yes sir